Hi there, happy hump day. Welcome to Wednesday. In a world that is surrounded by busyness, it can be really hard to go slow. We worry that if we go slow, we're going to miss out on something, that we're not going to have enough time in the day to get the things done that we feel we must get done. There's also a concern that if we kind of step back a bit and take our foot off the accelerator, that we're going to get left behind. The problem with this mindset is that when we are always busy, when we are always rushing, it's not good for us. When we're constantly on, when we're flitting from event to event, task to task, situation to situation, we can miss what's happening around us. Our brain gets so focused on what's in front of us that we can miss what's to the left or to the right. We can fail to notice the impact that we're having on people. We can fail to notice or see inputs or ideas that we should factor in. We can become blinkered to alternative perspectives. And that's because our attention is just focused on what's in front of us. Now, look, there is absolutely times when we need to operate at speed, but there's also times when we need to cruise. And by cruising, you know, I'm not suggesting that you sit back and do nothing all the time, because there are times when doing nothing can actually be incredibly productive. But I'm considering or suggesting that you want to think about how you deliberately construct your day. So you've got time to reflect, to ponder, to wander, to daydream, because it's in that space, the space of that quietness, that you'll find ideas arise, problems that seemed really hard, you're going to be able to solve and you're going to get new perspectives. Now, I love getting things done, you know, ticking the list off, getting that little dopamine hit when you feel like you've achieved a task and you can move on to something else. However, I frequently find it's when I'm cruising. It's when I'm creating that space for slowness that my best ideas arise. Issues that once seemed challenging, I find a different way to tackle it. Problems that look perplexing get solved. Rushing, that's easy. It's really easy to look busy. Finding time to think and reflect, that's much harder. I always love the quote from the author Henry David Thoreau who said, it's not enough to be busy. So are the ants. The question is, what are we busy about? It's such a good question. Because being busy, it's a habit. It's something that you formed. So if you want to think about how you can find time to cruise, to go a bit slower on occasions. That too, it's a habit. You need the habit of slowing down. It's just like setting up a regular exercise routine or a meditation practice or reading every night. You want to build some structure into your day that enables you to create that space. So I'm going to give you some ideas to think about. Firstly, just check, challenge yourself. Do you actually have time already set aside? where you can reflect, where there's time for creative thought, for that wandering and that pondering. And if so, is this enough time? Now, if you don't have any time allocated, then you need to really find space in your day to be able to do that because you want to be able to really understand how do I carve that time out? And if I already have some time carved out, is it going to be enough? If you don't have any allocated time, what's stopping you? What is it that is worrying you about slowing down? What are those roadblocks that you need to find ways to remove? If you're in that always busy category, how much of that time is spent productively? Because perhaps being busy is a trap and you're not being productive with how you use that time. The more you know and really understand, like critically understand how you're spending your time, it's so much easier to then be able to work out how you need to shift your day. Ask yourself, what could stop you doing this? Are there some avenues where you can find more time to cruise? How do you get deliberate about that? 
And then lastly, focus on the benefits. So what you've been doing is working through what am I currently doing? How much time have I allocated? Is it enough? If I don't have time allocated, how can I find more time? But now you want to focus on the benefits. The reason you want to focus on the benefits is when something is important to us, when we see that it adds value to our day, to our life, to our career. So in whatever context you're looking at it, becomes so much easier to be able to do it. You want to create a new habit and you need to be clear on the payoff from creating that new habit. So for you to cruise a little bit more, what does that look like for you? Love to hear your ideas. Take care. Have a great week.